So a few weeks ago, I talked about how the Hebrew word for work and worship are the same word. And we've been talking about how your ministry, how you serve people, isn't something that happens in a church building. It happens probably most of the time at your workplace. And so we've been interviewing different people in the church about their work and how the Christian faith intersects with their work. And today, after much pleading and begging, Darby has agreed to do an interview with me. So, yeah. Darby. I don't know who the degree would be the term. <laughs> I'm like, you're going to do it. Um, thank you, Darby, for being a good sport. Sure. So, tell us about your work. So, I work at Eldernet, which is a local nonprofit in the community. We serve Lower Marion and Narber. And we have three different things that we do. We do volunteer services that take older adults who no longer drive but want to remain in their homes to and from doctor's appointments, pharmacies, shopping, that sort of thing. We have a food pantry for all ages, and we also have social workers who need, if anybody needs help with social work things, benefits, and all that sort of stuff. Awesome. So uh, that sounds like an amazing organization. It is an amazing organization, and we're always looking for volunteers. That wasn't meant to be a play, but I like how you kind of this. What are some issues that you run into at work? Um, there's a lot of different issues. Just one working with people is always interesting. Um, coworkers sometimes, you know, if you have to do something more line that relies on them getting their work done and like prevents you from getting your work done, but also just like with our participants. They're facing hard, hard things, you know, a lot of them are lower income, and just the struggles that come with that, and like being able to guide them through those difficult moments, and you become family with some of these people, and then they pass away, and that's also really hard. I don't have favorites, but when they get sick, it's very difficult. So, yeah, just like normal job stuff, I think, that everybody deals with. Sometimes coworkers can be annoying, sometimes the work is annoying or boring or whatever. Yeah. Um, how about, how does your Christian faith intersect with these issues at work? It does like that. <laughs> sometimes I want to slap somebody. No, I'm just kidding. But I'm being totally honest. Just, I was like, I mean, everybody's answering these questions, and I feel like, Having been a Jesus follower, it should definitely play into my faith. But sometimes I'm like, I'll let my Atlanta come out a little bit too, you know? And so, but I think like just being able to love my coworkers where they are, and I know I'm not a perfect person. You can't quote that later. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> and so, um, just not getting frustrated over the little petty things that like driving nuts on a regular basis, but also with our participants, just being able to go above and beyond and love on them and meet them where they are. You know, most of them don't drive, like only people who come to our food pantry potentially drive. And so if you could never leave your house, the struggles that come with that and being able just to be there for people in the community and show them the love of Jesus. Awesome. How can we pray for you in your ministry Um, I get frustrated just doing the nine to five, which is nine to four thirty for a nonprofit. But um, it's not like a lifelong goal of mine. But loving people, I enjoy, and so like that's why I get frustrated a lot. And just dealing with coworkers, <laughs> I get frustrated, and just continuing to like love on people. Because sometimes it's sad and it's like I just want to shut down and like when people pass away or whatever, I'm like, I can't do this anymore and I'm not going to like love on anybody, which is not good. Let's uh, pray for Darby and uh, pray where you are, pray for her throughout the week. Um, let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for Darby. Thank you for just the, the cool way you opened up this job for her and then just the new things she's got to do there. Um, Lord, I pray that you continue to bless her and let her co-workers know that you are with her, that your hand is on her. Um, Lord, I pray that as she loves people, that you will give her a supernatural love to love hard people, difficult people, challenging people. And I pray that people see your love in her. God, I pray that you will comfort her heart when people that she's walked alongside um, 
die or suffer hardship, Lord, that you will help her uh, to be able to grieve that and still love. And Lord, we pray that you will just bless this organization as they do good in the community and continue to bless Darby as she works with them to expand their reach to help people who are hurting. And I pray all these things that I believe Jesus will. Amen. Thank you for doing that, Darby. Yeah, sure.